Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a first thoughts look at Paper Mario The Origami King. Uh, I have not purchased this game, I don't know if I'm, I think it's worth buying or not, I don't want to send Nintendo the wrong message, because the previous two Paper Mario titles, Sticker Star and Color Splash, were not good games. They were real bad. Especially Sticker Star, which I have played almost 100% and it's so bad. I, I, I gave it the chance to, to play it and see if it might get good, but it just it never does. It never does. The Paper Mario games prior to that, Paper Mario for the N64, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, and Super Paper Mario were all excellent. So I'm hoping this game will be closer to uh, the original three Paper Marios and less like the games that followed. From the previews I've been seeing, I think it might be closer to the later games, but we're going to give it a go and find out. Uh, as I've said, I haven't bought this. I've um, got Natsumi's account on here, and she's already bought the game, so I have access to play it, even though I haven't purchased it yet, which is pretty helpful. Um, so yeah, if it turns out to be good, I'm going to buy it. If it doesn't, I won't buy it. <laughs> pretty simple. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's get started. Uh, I also have airplane mode on, just I didn't want it to mess with anything Natsumi's doing on her Switch. I don't know. Um, I'll link her channel if I remember. She does have a YouTube channel. I'll try to remember to do that. If I forget, leave me a comment and I'll go back in and put a card or something. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. Uh, boop. I was a little confused because I was trying to launch this to make sure it worked. It doesn't ask for a user straight away. Um, which struck me as weird. Most games do. Uh, this one plays a little bit of an intro. Paper Mario the Origami King. Uh, so you've got, you know, Peach's Castle there. It says press any button. It's copyright 2020. Press any button. There we go. That's a button. And then it asks for a user. Some games, it doesn't make you log in until you've loaded the game up. I'm not sure why that is. But yeah, just pick me and it'll, it'll start up fine. So yeah, I've never played this before. There's no save data. This is just a fresh game. Okay, we've got a little bit of rumble. The HD rumble's doing its thing. Okay, I can't do an Italian accent, but Luigi's talking right now. Um, isn't this great, bro? Back on the road again together and heading to some kind of festival. What did the invitation say again? An origami festival? What's that gonna be like? And I can't wait to say hello to Princess Peach. It's been a while. Okay, this is fairly similar to the start of TTYD, honestly, so that much is promising. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, there's um rumble from the motors of that little car. It's doing a little bit of HD rumble. It, it feels nice, it's good. I can tell the car's on the right side of the controller, for example. Here we are, Toad Town, and there's a Peach's Castle. I'm trying to put, do a little bit of the Italian thing, but I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, the game looks nice. But that was never really the problem. Where is everybody? You don't think we missed it, do you? Mario, check the invitation again. When were we supposed to be here? You were invited to an origami festival in fabulous Toad Town. Date OO out of XX. Peach. Well, it's the right day. You think they're still getting things ready? Let's go check the castle. Maybe everyone's inside. I haven't been able to interact at all yet, apart from advancing the dialogue, in case you were wondering. This is pretty much just a cutscene. Part of the course for this series to have a decently long cutscene at the beginning, if not cutscenes all the way through, so we'll see how we go.
Yeah, that's Peach's castle. It looks pretty much like it does in Odyssey. Oh, there's the music, Peach's Castle music. Here we are, Peach's Castle. Am I allowed to move around yet? I'm gonna park the cart, okay? I don't wanna tip the valet. Rude. It's interesting that they're basic, they've got like a white outline in this game. In most Paper Marios, it's, it's not like that. Like, it's just the character. Sorry for the wait, bro. Let's -a go see the princess. Okay, I can now move around. Um, A button makes me jump a little bit. B button does nothing. Y button brings up this little menu. I guess there'll be items in there. X button does nothing. Uh, I have no money. ZL and ZR do nothing. L and R do nothing. Uh, the right stick does nothing. The D-pad does nothing. Plus opens this menu, which has a bunch of stuff in it. But looks of things. Uh, most of it's locked for the moment, so I guess we'll see what that does later. Minus... Uh, oh, I see, a help menu. Okay. Um, I'm initially a little concerned that my starting health is 50 out of 50. Out of 50. That's a lot of HP. Um, for contrast, you had, I think, 20 HP at the start in Paper Mario N64. Um, even in Sticker Star, you started with around 20, you did not start with 50. That is a lot. Um, Paper Mario as a series has been known for having very small numbers for things, like you do one damage, you have 10 health, that sort of thing. Uh, rather than, like a lot of our JRPGs, they inflate the numbers, they give you like hundreds and hundreds of HP. Um, we'll see if this game bucks that trend and choose, does things more like Paper Mario. We'll, we'll, we'll see. It's kind of spooky in here, isn't it? And where is everybody? I'd expect to see at least one toad by now. Mamma mia! I forgot our gift in the card. I'll just dash over and get it. <gasps> okay, I don't like that. How, how am I going to get outside when the door is locked? Don't worry, Mario. I, just, I know just what to do in situations like this. You just got to find Mario. Right, Mario? Oh. <laughs> okay, that is pretty funny. The writing is okay so far. Okay, I'm just gonna take a deep breath and go find the key to this door. That's what you'd do, right? Tell Princess Peach will be right there if you see her first, okay? Bye bye Okay, so now we're just Mario. Uh, we've got the same controls as before. This does remind me of the intro to the first Paper Mario. You go into Peach's castle and all this spooky stuff is happening. It's it's similar. Mario, is that you? I think that's Peach, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's Peach. How good to see you. Answer me this. Shouldn't the Mushroom Kingdom unfold and be refolded unto glory? Uh, I'm gonna say yes. See what happens. And what of those toads? Shouldn't they be silenced for all of eternity? I don't know about that, princess. I see. Last question. Will you crease yourself and be reborn? Like me? No thanks. Wrong answer. Right answer. It matters not. Your replies are all paper thin. Goodbye. I think it doesn't matter what you pick for those questions. Judging from how she reacted just then. Mario? Always got to make a flashy entrance, huh? Uh, are you here for the Origami Festival too? This dungeon-themed waiting lounge is a huge upgrade from the last festival I attended. Very classy. You ain't seen Master Bowser anywhere, have ya? 
It ain't like the big lug to leave us minions hanging at a public event. Whoa, Mario, you're here? I'm a big fan. Uh, I mean, I've always wanted to battle you. Even if I get stomped, it would be an honor. Are you Gumbario? From, from the first Paper Mario? Like, you haven't got the hat, but you sound like Gumbario. Wow, this is all so exciting. First I see Princess Peach, and now you. I gotta say, the princess was a little different than I expected. Less lifelike. Come with us. Yeah? What's next? I've never seen a toad before. Please tell me it's a toad. Not you. Oh, hope you don't have to wait too long, Mario. I'll say hi to Toad for you. This is strange. It's acting as though, like, like in the previous Paper Mario's, like, there were friendly versions of all the enemy races, like Goombas and stuff. This Goomba's talking, like, about having never seen a Toad, which is very strange, because you'd think they'd be able to just go to Toad Town and go to the shops and be like, hey, Toads, what's up? Uh... Hmm... Mario, is that you? Whose voice is this? I don't know how to voice it. I need your help. I'm... I'm... I'm in a very strange place. It's cramped and dark, almost like I'm in between dimensions or something. I'm not sure if I should be amazed or scared, but I'm kind of both. If it's not too much trouble, I'd like to get out now, please. Is there any way you can help? Okay, um... What was that? Did something light up at your feet? Is it a magic circle? That's good, I think. I mean, I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with it. Can you try to use it somehow? 1,000 fold arms. Um... That... That sounded good. Are your arms all big and foldy now? I mean, they are, but... This is weird. I've heard about this. I think those are called 1,000 fold arms. Try feeling around a bit. Maybe you can help me escape from this strange dimension. If it feels like the arms are off-center and out of control, maybe try pressing R to reset them? Okay, so these are controlled with motion. Uh, I'm guessing it would make se more sense if I did it with the, um, with the Joy-Cons, because then I'd have two separate arms instead of one. Okay, that was a thing. Wow, I'm free from that weird in-between dimension. Oh, was I just stuck in that wall? You must be Mario. My name's Olivia. You'd probably like to know a lot more about me and why I was trapped like that, huh? But I don't think we really have time for that now. Maybe we should just get out of here. Why is Olivia's speech bubble not, like, folded up? Because she's clearly an origami person. There's just one thing. I'm not exactly fleet of foot. Mind if I hitch a ride? Oh, alright. Uh... Can we go this way? Nope. I guess we gotta get the hammer. You got it! Hammer! Whoa, what'd you find? It looks big and smashy. Maybe try pressing B and see what happens? Okay, so now we can press B to hit stuff with our hammer. This is a major part of every Paper Mario game. You just whack stuff all over the place with your hammer. Good times. You know, I feel like I just had a pretty good idea. I don't know if they'll always be good ideas, but I'm always happy to share them with you. Why don't you try pressing X if you're stuck, and I'll see if I can think of something useful. Who knows, maybe we'll get to know each other and make a great team. Is that how these things go? Okay, so... Oh, thank you for calling on me with X. It's my first hint. Now for an actual hint. Um, that hole in the wall looks like it might be a way to sneak out. 
Okay, so this is very similar to a feature in pretty much every Paper Mario game. Uh, in the first three, you could tattle on specific objects and enemies and NPCs and stuff to get information about them. Uh, you could also just tattle, like, about the area you're in to get a general hint. Uh, in Sticker Star they changed it so it's just you get a general hint if you tap the tattle button. It wasn't even called tattling. I'm not quite sure what it was in Color Splash, but I'm guessing it was similar. You just press the button, it gives you a hint about what to do next. Okay, I'm getting my bearings. I think we might be in the castle dungeon. Dungeons smell like this place smells, right? Uh, probably. Is that the other side of the door we just came through? Probably. You move decently fast, but not super fast. Hey, knock it off. That door is also locked. What's going on here? Hey, it's Bowser. I can see what you're about to do to my minion. I order you to cut it out. What are they about to do? Oh, I see. They're folding things. <gasps> A stapler? Oh god, that's terrifying. <sighs> what did you see? Nothing terrifying, I hope. <laughs> that was a little bit terrifying. That was the last of them. Except for the mustachioed one. Oh, they're gonna realize I'm missing very soon. Okay, maybe I have time to explain one little thing. Those stiff looking guys are called folded soldiers. I don't want to alarm you, but they're unbelievably dangerous. I think we should try to avoid them. What do you think they meant by that was the last of them anyway? The last what? Minion? Probably minion that they needed to fold up. This door should open now. Yeah. Can we save Bowser? Probably. Mario, you're here too. Well, what are you waiting for? Get me down from this thing. Even you know this is no way to treat royalty. Royalty? Ooh, nice to meet you. Is everyone in your kingdom also a face? I've got a body too. These folded jerks just bent it in ways that I won't describe in detail right now. It's seen worse, believe me. Never mind that. I am the great King Bowser, and I demand to be set free and unfolded. Now, Mario, ignore your floating friend and get me down from here. Bowser commands you. I would do the same for you. You need me as much as I need you. Admit it! Plus, I can tell you a secret after you free me. No one can resist a good secret. Bwahahaha! Once I just walk past. Hey, don't just leave me hanging. Get me down from here. Okay, that happens. Pull. Ow, 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 whoop! Oh, kind of thought I'd just unfold or something. Bah, no matter. Now as for that secret I promised to tell you, there's a hidden exit in this room. I heard those jerks talking about it. Lousy, no good, body folding jerks. Now hurry up and find it, and I'll let you bring me along when you escape. Can I unfold you or something? No, I can hit with my hammer, which is kind of funny, but I can't unfold Bowser, apparently. I assume it's behind these blocks. Oh, there's another one of these arm um, things. I still think these are weird. See? Bwahaha. Where would you be without me? You're really getting the hang of those 1,000 fold arms, Mario. I don't like them. <laughs> they're, they're, they're very silly. 
Hey, a save block. This game has save blocks? Alright, saving. Save complete. Save complete, huh? I guess that means your adventure up to this point has been saved. Phew. Let's make a habit of saving every time we see another one of these shiny blocks, okay? Oh, and you find all sorts of helpful stuff if you open the menu with plus. If you want to try out some other options or need some help, check the, the cog section of the menu. Okay, so you have save blocks in this game. I thought it might auto-save, but I guess it doesn't? Huh. The previous Paper Mario has also had save blocks, but, you know, auto-saving wasn't quite as common at the time. And now it is, so it's just a bit strange. Let's go up the stairs. Huff. Hey, slow down. <laughs> I'm walking with my face here. Nobody makes Bowser walk with his face. I mean, obviously they did. But I'm not gonna get away with it. Woo. So I guess we're out of the dungeons now? Yes. Hasn't been any battling yet, which is kind of strange. At this point in the first Paper Mario, you'd have already done the, at least a couple battles. She can't see me like this. Why are you still so... flat? Why haven't you joined me in folded glory? Come, we can reshape you. Patience, princess. This will do just fine. So you're Mario. Princess Peach's hero, right? Yes, you'll do quite well. Very crisp, bright colours. I can see it now. So what do you say? Will you volunteer your paper body to the cause? Hey, I'm crisp. But will we have to get crumply? Join us, yes or no? Nah. Ah, uh, I expected nothing less. And to be honest, I wouldn't have it any other way. Take a good long look at Princess Peach. She's better this way, don't you think? No need to answer, you'll soon feel the power of origami for yourself. Folded soldier, come forth. There's two of them. Oh, there's three of them. Am I just fighting the Goomba? I've never seen a folded soldier like that, Mario. Does it look like one of your fat flat paper friends? I never got to see... Toad. <gasps> Oh my god, it's that Goomba. Prepare to be folded. Wave battle. What's a wave battle? Oh no, I'm guessing this is your first time facing folded soldiers, Mario. Once these flat paper folks have been turned to folded soldiers, we can't turn them back. It seems cruel to fight them, but if we don't, they'll try to fold you into origami too. I'd help you attack, but my tiny arms don't pack much of a punch. I don't want to get in your way. So I'll cheer you on, but you'll have to do the heavy lifting yourself. Uh... Line them up. And hey, did you catch that first message? Is it something about a wave battle? Are we in some kind of splash zone? I guess we'll worry about that when we get to it. Let's just focus on these enemies for now, Mario. Speaking of, you're surrounded by four folded soldiers. Huh. Where did the other three come from? If they all attack at once, you'll get a real pummeling. This looks rough. Hey, I just had a great idea. If you line all four of them up, you could jump your way down the row in one attack. Bop, boop, bim, bam. Okay. Lucky for us, these rings will let us move the enemies around and group them together. So, use, use the left stick to select which ring you want to move and then press A to confirm your choice. There's just one naughty goomba out of place right now. Let's try and get it over that empty circle. Now use L again to rotate the ring. Once that Goomba is lined up with the others, press A to finish. Great lineup. Attack power up. Yeah, there we go. You lined up all four Goombas. When you group your enemies into a successful lineup like this, your attack power increases by 1.5 times. That means your attack power will be precisely, uh, oh gosh, I forgot how to multiply by a point. Um, oh whatever, you get what I mean. Your attacks will do more damage. So keep lining up those enemies. Okay, now we can flatten those Goombas with a jump attack. Select your pair of boots using the left stick, then press A to begin your attack. Uh... Oh, I see. So the boots hit everything in a line, the hammer hits everything in, like, a wedge, sort of. <laughs> Interesting. Mario's turn. 
I'm not sure if I needed to press A just then, but I did for each jump. Wow, those world-famous Mario jumps don't disappoint. You took out all four, Goom four Goombas with a single jump attack. See what I mean? Lining up your enemies is totally worth the effort. Last wave. Oh, there's more? Okay. Ah, more folded soldiers. I guess some battles are going to have enemies attacking in waves. Oh, I guess that must be why this was called a wave battle up front. If you see last wave pop up, that must mean you're in the last group. Hang tough, Mario. These guys will end up in a little differently, so show me your hammer attack next. Line them up. So there's a time limit for this. Your hammer will shoot a short, hit, blah, hit a shorter, wider area with one powerful blow. Those spaces marked with circles are showing you where your hammer attack will land. It'd be great if you could get all four folded soldiers onto those spaces. Let's give it a try, same as before. Select a ring using L, then press A to confirm. The rotational controls are very confusing. <laughs> you did it! Now they're all in hammer in range! And they're lined up perfectly, so your attack power went up by 1.5 times. I'll uh, let you do that math. Time to swing that hammer of yours. Use left stick to select your hammer, then press A to start your attack. Mario's turn. Yeah, I think there are action commands, but it's not telling me about them. Um, action commands is when you do an attack, if you press a button at the right time, it does more damage. It's been in every Paper Mario title, except Super, because Super was a bit different, it was more a platformer. Uh, but they stopped telling you what the action commands were in the later games, which is really obnoxious. Did you see that? Blop! Oh, what a satisfying attack. Fast, flashy, and flattening, but only if you arrange your enemies into a successful lineup. Jump attacks and hammer attacks both have their own ideal lineups. Always think carefully about how your enemies are lined up before you attack, okay? Okay. Battle bonus! Puzzle completion, no damage. Okay, it's giving me a bunch of money. This reminds me a lot of Sticker Star. Hmm. So you defeated the first Goomba. Bravo! I assure you it is far from the deadliest creature in this realm. I suppose there's no point in maintaining this charade any longer. Oh, you're not a shy guy. Brother! No, it can't be. I didn't want to believe it could be you. Now that is dysfunctional. How many times do I tell you to stop? Please, you have to stop now. Why couldn't Mario have simply left you in that wall where I put you? Sister, if you stand in the way of my ambition, I'm afraid you will not share in my glory as family. Oh, and by the way, I am no longer your brother Ollie. I am King Ollie. All monarchs are bastards. <laughs> By the time I am done, all of those miserable toads will be folded. The flimsy paper minions of Bowser shall be reborn as loyal folded soldiers, serving me. And I shall fold, crease, and bend the entire paper world to my whim, the birth of a new origami kingdom. Streamers? Okay, this is just a cutscene, in case you weren't, were wondering. I'm not doing anything. I did- I saw this in the trailer, actually. Um... Oh my... The castle's being stolen. What an original idea for a Paper Mario game. I'm being sarcastic because this actually happens in the first Paper Mario. Granted, Bowser steals the castle rather than having Origami King guy do it, but same idea. Oh no!
Okay. Um. Saving. Okay, so I guess it auto saves sometimes, like at story points. Am I supposed to press something? Or... I'm wiggling the stick now. Yeah, I guess I was supposed to do that. Um. Well, to get out of this area, I, I guess I can go this way. Let's see. Watch out! Unless you can float like me, I'd be careful over there, Mario. Do you see that huge hole in the ground? I don't think you'd like falling into it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But how? Hmm. Oh, I've got it. Catch this. Empty confetti bag. Did you see the colourful scraps of paper that showered out of the tree when you fell? That's confetti. Everything here is made of paper, of course, so every little bit of confetti is like a tiny piece of our world. That's why I think if you gather enough confetti and sprinkle it on that hole, it might just fix the problem. Okay. See that little icon that's urgently flashing? That tells you how much confetti you have. Can you try hitting flowers, grass, and trees with your hammer to knock confetti loose? And, um, once you're done, I might need rescuing again. So sorry. Well, I can see- oh, okay, I'm sucking it up into the bag automatically. Interesting. Okay, yeah, the bag is going- it's green now. Mario, I have a feeling you've collected enough confetti by now. Maybe try heading over the hole very carefully. Alright, now what you want to do here is get kinda close to that terribly scary pit. When you're ready, press ZR to toss some confetti onto it. Ya ZR, Ha ZR, Boosh ZR, Pow ZR. You don't have to do sound effects, but I think they're kinda fun. Ya! Boosh! Pow! Did it work? It sounds like it worked! Well, if it works this one time, it should work every time you find one of these. Call me optimistic. Oh no. Hope you won't always remember me for this moment alone, Mario. Maybe you can help me get my head unstuck somehow? Woo, that's much better. Thank you. Alright, now, where are we? There's no one around to ask for directions. This could be a problem. It seems all we can do is explore this area a little bit. I don't know how much help I'll be, but I'm always here to chat if you press X. I'll do my best. I'm guessing I want more confetti, so I'm just gonna whack this tree a bit and just suck up some more. I'm guessing there'll be, like, more holes we need to fill in. This seems likely. Incidentally, the world wasn't really quite so, uh, crafted in previous Mar Paper Marios. Um, in that Thousand Year Door, it's kind of like a the setting of a play. And, um, in Super Paper Mario, it's sort of drawn. Like, it's, it, it kind of, like a vector graphics program sort of thing, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm talking nonsense. I'm actually able to grab more once the bag is full. It looks like I'm grabbing more, but it can't be going anywhere, right? Hmm. Oh, one of these here? Oh, that means my brother is already folding the ho this whole world to his whims. That's bad news. Time for the arms. That's pretty gimmicky, but it's alright, I guess. It's not too bad. I don't really like the way the blocks look. They look very silly. You got it! Items! Mushroom! A useful item that can restore Mario's health anytime. Oh, Mario, I've heard about this. That's a precious adventuring resource. It's called an item. You should be able to see all the items you've collected by opening the menu with plus. Press Y and select an item to use it right away. How convenient is that? Okay, how much health does a mushroom give you? It doesn't, doesn't say. 
Hmm. Maybe we should try going as far as we can. See what happens. That's uh, pr pretty obnoxious, actually. Um, the the mushroom item in uh, Paper Mario and TTYD and all that, the 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 good ones that I like. Uh, it tells you exactly how much health it gives you. I think it's 10 HP, I think. But like it says so in the description. But the one in Sticker Star doesn't tell you. And it it's. And, you know, I hate Sticker Star, and this is more like that than like the other games, so... Wowie, I could soak up this, soak this view up all day long. I mean, just look at the top of that mountain. It's so... Wait, what's that? That's the outer crust of Peach's Castle, isn't it? I saw my brother's streamers wrapping around it, lifting it into the air, and then it was gone. Wait, there it is! See? Way on top of that distant mountain? It's still wrapped up tightly with all of those streamers. My brother could still be in there with Princess Peach. Oh, he's probably just plotting away. I'm gonna stop you, brother. As your sister, it's my duty. Oh, speaking of brothers, um... I saw a green hat falling into the hole where the castle used to be. I'm so sorry. The green hat was related to your hat, wasn't it? Oh, I just knew I was right about that hat. This is a big problem. It might be good to hurry back to where it fell and see what's going on. Oh, and we should look for your brother while we're at it. I hope he's okay too. Okay, so that does a sizable amount of damage, actually. Seven? My goodness. Hazards usually do one damage in Paper Mario games. So yeah, seven is quite a bit. Saving, save complete. Loading, yep, loading. Someone's here. Who is it? Someone with a mustache. Is the mustache also paper? It's almost like grand sappy. What? I guess I'll have to fill in these holes. By the way, ZL and ZR do the same thing. They both launch confetti. So if you don't want to launch confetti, don't press either of those. What's all this whispering about? I wonder how we're gonna cross these spikes that I'm seeing everywhere. Oh, I can pull on that? Coins. Oh, something's happening. Uh, that made a bunch of leaves fall over there. Is that good? I, I don't really know. Oh, I can flip them over. Okay. Oh, is this a like a memory sort of puzzle? Like a like that? Okay. That'll heal me up. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but I guess I want it. Oh, it's just more confetti? I already have plenty of that. Um, now the mushroom, oh, shriveled mushroom. Water it to return it to its original form, okay. Well, I guess I got everything. Oh, uh, what's that? Uh, is this useful? Oh, can I, oh, I can cross the spikes! Right. Because I'm invulnerable. Okay, that makes sense. I can get whatever this is. Collectible treasure number one, Peach's Castle. Collectible treasure? Ooh, it's cute! You should try to collect more of these, Mario. Maybe even all of them. Okay. Um... 
Is this gonna run out? It did. Uh, oh, I can just squeeze around that one. Let's put this here. These whispers are probably creepy. Yeah, you're not wrong. What's this? Oh, a thousand coins. That's a lot of coins. My goodness. I guess I solved that puzzle there, so that's cool. I got I got a little Peach's Castle. I don't know if that's useful for anything, but it's neat. <laughs> I'm guessing collectible treasures don't do anything, judging from what I saw so far, but maybe they do something of interest. We'll see. Mario, you're facing the wrong direction. Okay, there we go. Oh, hello. Faded fire flower. Would watering it restore its potency? I mean, probably. Okay, so that's the water that makes things better. That they were talking about. I think you'll figure it out. These little whispers in the background are actually quite annoying. They're not really creepy. <laughs> Can I get up there? No, too high. Hmm. Did I miss anything? No, I don't think so. I guess I'll pull this one again. Oh, uh, that's a radio? Okay, so the spring just repairs anything that goes in it? It's like magic or something? Oh, it's Burdetta! Hey, Burdetta! Cutie. Oh, okay, so you just have to do it three times, and then that log fall, rolls over there. Okay. She sure seems like a lot of weird stuff is happening. Well, I can go inside this log now. Oops. I keep thinking that L will do something different, but it doesn't. It's the same as that R. Uh... These whispers are very annoying. Okay, uh, I can climb up there now because this log is now in position. Um, which allows me to go over here. And get a bunch more money. Okay, this game's giving me a lot of money. <laughs> hmm. Oh, snap! Oh, something sparkly. Hello, what's that? Oh, okay, okay, I see. And then get the super arms, and I can grab it with the super arms, and... Yeah! What is that? Shriveled seed. For lack of water. I guess I have to take it over the, to the magic pond and fill it up with the water? Okay. <laughs> this is a weird game. Uh, what? This is loop back around to where it was. Is this one of those rooms? Is this like a Lost Woods situation? There's only two exits, though. Um, does it feel like we're not really getting anywhere? Sometimes when the folding gets tough, I like to take a break to clear my head. 
you know, just sit down somewhere nice and flat with perfect lighting, like on that tree stump. Alright, I don't know how to sit down in this game, but I can do that. Hey, who's there? You can't sit on old Grand Sappy's head, mister. That's right, he's the elder of this forest. Show some respect. He's got twigs older than you. So what if he's been logged by those nasty little toads? He's still the man, honey. Alright. Yes, yes. <clears throat> Thank you, darlings. Bless your bark. You, young man, go back and tell your flat paper friends what a state I'm in. I've hardly the hardwoods to speak, let alone learn you some manners. <clears throat> That's right, tell him, Grand Sappy, no toads allowed. Oh, Grand Sappy hasn't been the same since they cut him down. That's why he's mad at y'all. Flat paper folks cutting down good flat good trees in their prime. Shame on you. Oh, and by the way, you need Grand Sappy's permission if you ever plan on leaving, hun. So now that you're here, better get comfy, because you're gonna be here forever. Forever? I think that means a really long time, and I can't deal with that. Um, Mr. Grand Sappy, we're not with those flat paper people who did this to you. And actually, I'm not even flat paper. I'm origami. Oh, origami, you say? My eyes aren't what they used to be. Well, if what you say is true, then perhaps you may be of some assistance to me. If you can find a way to restore my energy, I may just let you two leave this place. That's so wonderfully generous of you, truly. I only wish we knew how to restore your energy. Anyway, we're in a hurry ourselves, so we'll do our best to help. I guess if you're gonna help Grand Sappy, we'll let you wander around a bit. There you go, child. Now you can be on your merry way along the mountain. Just don't go wandering off too far. You gotta find us something called the Soul Seed. They say that's the only thing that can help old Grand Sappy get his energy back. Good luck! I'm guessing it's that seed I already found, but I need to heal it first. I guess those whispers are from the trees, that makes sense. Oh, hello. Wave battle. Whoa, it's been a while since that first battle, hasn't it? I think I remember how everything works. Do you? Let's give it a shot. Alright, this seems familiar. You're gonna line these folded soldiers up, remember? These goombas look like they can be arranged into a single line. Remember how to move the rings? You just, uh, <clears throat> I'll let you figure it out. Again, the controls are very weird. You got them all lined up. Nice work, Mario. If you can do this every time, you'll be good to go. Okay, next. Which attack works best in a lineup like this? It's the boots. Yep, when they're in a straight line, you can use your boots to jump on all of them in a row. And since you nailed that lineup, your attack put went up by 1.5 times. Oh hey, that reminds me, you know about action commands, right? If you press A just as you land on an enemy, you'll deal more damage. Let's give it a try, get ready. Press A as soon as it appears. Yeah, I, I tried that already because it was pretty obvious, because I've played those games before, but it's kind of weird that I didn't tell you until now. Yes, yeah, the perfectly lined up jump attack is so satisfying. You can land multiple action commands during battles which take your enemies out in no time. Last wave. Ack, another wave of the folders soul just came out of nowhere. Line them up. Huh, they spread out a bit differently this time, aren't they? I need to line them up a certain way. You know what to do, right? Great line up, attack power up. They're all in the perfect position. Nice work, Mario. Such a pro. They can use a weapon to flatten all of the Goombas at once. Yes, now they're placed close together, those enemies don't stand a chance. 
And I have even more good news, you can use action commands with the hammer too. You'll see a burst behind you as you wind up your swing. Press A when that burst flashes brightest. Ready to give it a try? Here we go! Press A as soon as it appears. Ah, that was a thing of beauty. You smashed all four Goombas with a single swing. There's one other super important kind of action command. When enemies are attacking you, press A just before you get hit to guard and take less damage. Go get him, Mario. Keep lining up enemies and using action commands. Lots of money! <laughs> hey, this is great! Taking out those folded soldiers released a ton of confetti! We can use as much as we can find with all these terrible holes around here, I'd say. What a great deal! We get rid of an enemy and get confetti to boot, and when they explode, it's like a party! Still though, how are there already faulted soldiers this deep into the forest? Do you think they're just going around causing trouble everywhere? I have such a bad feeling about this. Seems like I just, just show a number so you know how many times you press the button. And then you don't have to wait for it. Did I get a first strike? I did get a first strike. Oh no, the folded soldiers are spreading all over the place. There's no way you can line them up in a single move. We crumble before our adventure has even begun. That's just mean. Wait, do you see that? It says two times under ring moves. So times two. Looks like you've got two chances to move the rings in one turn. If some battles will let us move the rings twice, that changes things. Okay, let's think. You could start by uh, moving that one, then... Hmm. I'll leave the rings to you, Mario. Go get them. I'm not a fan of the time limit here, it because the controls are kind of fiddly. <sighs> Battle bonus! They give you a lot of money in this game. It still looks like a lot of money, I don't know if it actually is. Once we get to a shop and find out what stuff actually costs, we'll know how much money is a lot. Ah, I didn't get a first strike that time. I don't think the first strike matters that much, but looks of things, so yeah. Oh, there are a lot more folded soldiers this time. We'll never hit all of these enemies with a single attack. Is this the end? Is this really our final battle? It's been an honor to fight alongside you, Mario. Oh, look, Mario, the action section. Does that mean we get two attacks in this one turn? Let's find out. Try selecting your first attack now. Mario's turn. Yes, I knew it, you still got one action remaining. Pick your second attack, Mario. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. Basically, the battles are a puzzle game instead of an RPG, I guess? Wow, with two actions, you're almost unstoppable. With a successful lineup and multiple actions, we can take out a ton of enemies in a single turn. Always check your remaining actions before you choose your attacks. Okay then. Collectible treasure too. Mushroom. Okay, so yeah, they look like trophies from um, you know that game that has trophies, Smash Bros. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. I'm guessing I can go over here and. Hey, this is that spring that we saw before. I feel calmer somehow, just standing near it. 
Normally I wouldn't suggest this, but you think we should try throwing something in there? Yeah, let's throw all these things in there. Goodbye, mushroom. It worked. You gonna put something in the spring? Fire flower, use this to throw fireballs to enemies in a straight line. Yeah, it looks like this lineup system is a major part of the game, which is weird. Soul seed, a fully revitalized soul seed. Give it to old Grand Sappy. Ugh. Did you hear that? I think that might have been old Grand Sappy crying out. He seemed pretty feeble when we talked to him, but that was no feeble, Urg. Oh no, oh no. Do you think he's okay? Let's go find out. He's hurt. Urg? I hope he's okay. Oh my goodness. No time to stop and whack the flowers. Hurry, hurry. I can't handle more drama. Oh my goodness. What happened to whispering? <laughs> Oh no! Oh dear. I... I can't look. Poor thing, he's a shell of himself, hollowed out like some woodshop project gone wrong. I can't believe those horrible things ginged up an old Grand Sappy and did this to him. They... they deserve to be chipped. Uh, Grand Sappy, can you hear us? This doesn't look good. He was already creaky. Now he's downright hollowed out. Oh! I've got an idea. Look closely at Mr. Grand Sappy's face. Doesn't look like one of those holes? Maybe that means you can fix him with confetti by pressing ZR. Of course you can. Like, you didn't need to tell that to me. It's really obvious. See? Easy peasy. Huh? What happened? Felt like some rapscallion was whittling me down again. Did I just dream it? Uh, I suppose that's just the memory going downhill. Ah, oh, nuts. Grand Sappy's back, y'all. Let's see. Mustache, check. Creepy eyebrows, check. It's Grand Sappy again, alright. Oh, thank you. He's still a shell of himself, but it's better than being a shell of a shell. We've got our precious elder back. Well, he's not hollow anymore, but does it seem like he could be still be more energetic somehow? Yeah, I reckon we have to go up here and put the seed... No? Do we just talk to him? Hmm? Do you have something for me? Is it working? How do you feel? It's doing something. Watch out now. What? What is happening? Uh. What is happening? I guess he's a big tree again. Wow, I was not expecting that. Looking good, Grand Sappy. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. That little seed was all it took. Tightened up my timbers and put the funk back in my trunk. I'm young again. I see no need to keep you all waiting any longer, unless you want to run through that song and dance again. Shrubs, open up for, open up for my main mustache and his little lady here. You got it. Yes, sir. On it. Move up. Full shrub ahead. <laughs> Great. Now we can keep making your way back to Peach's castle. Let's get a move on, Mario. I'm still pretty worried about your green family. Bye for now, Grand Sappy. I'm glad we could be of service. Well, that was really weird. Alright. Oh, 
not sure why having limited confetti even matters. It seems like it's incredibly easy to replenish. Saving. Uh, my video's at about an hour now. I'm gonna go a little bit longer, though. Oh, that one's a bit broken. There we go. Easy. Keep out. Unless you want to stay forever. Pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, they made me out of one of Grand Safi's branches. Reduce, reuse, recycle, I guess. Hey, Toad. Uh-oh, what's that? Some kind of face? Head? Hat? Thing is stuck in that shrub. I've got a bad feeling. I'm a toad! Wait, that's what a toad looks like? Wow, I was way off. That's because my face is all folded up. Please help me! That's marginally better. <laughs> now I just need some flattening out, I think. I'm flat again, thank you! I don't mean to be rude, Toad, but I have to ask, how did your face up end up so bent and wonky? Oh, it's bad, real bad! These horrible folder guys showed up and started folding Toads left and right. Most of us got folded before we could even ask what was going on. What do they have against Toads? It's not fair. Toads have rights, this is Toad abuse. Ugh, I just re-traumatized myself. Sounds like folded soldiers to me. I see what my brother's doing. I know we've got a few other things on our plate, but you'll help any toads we find, won't you, Mario? I heard that, and I'm holding you to that affirmative gesture, Mario. <laughs> okay, the writing is pretty good. But us toads can help you too. If you press Y during a battle, we'll come cheer you on. The more of us you have cheering, the more help we can give you. Good things will happen, I promise. What, what do they do when they cheer me on? Oh, we will charge you a modest fee for the cheering. Should have mentioned that. What's the point of it? What does it do? Oh, that toad is a shrewd one. But it sounds like it could be a big help to have them cheer us on in battle, don't you think? Why? Is it like in Thousand Year Door, where cheering, like, powers your special map abilities and stuff? Or is it nothing? Let's save as many toads as we can and get them to root for us, Mario. Like, I haven't got any special map abilities yet. So maybe I will get some and then it'll make sense? I don't know. Oh, I know you. You're a toad. Thanks, Mario. I've been in there for a long time. You know what tens don't have, right? Bathrooms. Oh, there's no bathroom out here either. Why are you facing that way? Ah! Oops. <laughs> I don't understand the purpose of this, of the lining things up puzzle, because you just undo the moves it does at the beginning, because they start lined up. I'm so confused. Mario's turn. Like, I assume it gets more complicated, but so far it's literally just been undo whatever happens at the start. And that's just super easy. I'm confused. Well, so there's a lot of things that just give you a thousand coins, like all over the place. Is that a toad? Yeah. I was waiting for the swing, but then that weird Goomba cut in line. Cute. 
I'm guessing there's more toads around here somewhere. Hmm, I'm not seeing anything suspicious though. Oh, I see, they're alive. Kind of weird. Here's a bench. What's this do? Ah, oh, finally, a minute to rest. Oh, it heals you. Okay, benches are heal points. Hmm? Mario, look at you. You've gone from poop to pept. I'm so glad. I can't face all those folded soldiers alone. You're all I've got. So stay rested, okay? When you see a bench, take a break and heal up. Okay, so sitting on benches is good. Uh, that is the healing. We used to be trees, but don't feel bad for us. We'll turn into ashes and grow again. Uh, that's real creepy. There's a toad here. Oh, thank you. I don't know why I was trying to cut more firewood like that. I have plenty. Oh my god, what? That is creepy. Um, is there something else over here? It doesn't look like it. Time for a picnic. Okay, I was saying it was easy, but maybe it's not. I made a mistake. <sighs> it was about time I got something wrong. Can I pick you to attack, or is it always the same direction? Oh no, you can turn around and don't jump in other ways if you want. Alright. And that other one's going to attack. Enemy's turn. Ow. Okay, they did nearly, nearly nothing. Now, finish them off. Attack power up. Okay, so that's my first non-perfect battle, but it was still pretty easy. So... There you go, I guess. That meal is a toad. I was worried I'd be done in my own deliciousness. Thank you! There's something that keeps track of all the toads I've found, because it seems like there would need to be, considering how many there seem to be all over the place. Uh, maybe the map? Toads rescued 41%. Okay. Not bottomless holes repaired 88%. Collectible treasures collected 67%. Question mark blocks hit 40%. Okay. So it does keep track for you. That's good. Ah, uh, thank you. I was upside down with the log side up. Now I'm gonna be upside up with the log side down. Or something. Hello, enemy. Yay! Ah, 
I was hoping for helping hands and I got a helping hammer. You always love surprises. That's a toad in there. Thanks for saving me from that wood pile, but these creases are so deep. Will I go back to normal? Mm, I'll help you. It's not helping, is it? <laughs> so lonely back here with no one to talk to. I had to come up with an imaginary friend. She's actually pretty cool. Do you want to hear all about her? Oh, yeah, I guess you can press X to get a hint from your real friend whenever you want, so you wouldn't understand. I want to hear about your imaginary friend. Even if Mario doesn't. Is there a reason to break all these speakers? Does it do something? Or is it just, like, a thing you can do for no reason? This one is suspicious because the others all have flowers in them. Doesn't seem to be doing anything though. Hmm. Nope. bubble from below. Let's see. Oh, there's a flower. But it looks different to the others. Is it because it's a toad? Yeah, it's a toad. <laughs> I got bored, so I bloomed. Can you bloom? I mean, blame me? Cute. Okay, can we go inside this house as well? Can I help you? The toad who lives here isn't home right now, and has actually been gone for kind of a long time. Why is everything in this game alive? This is not normal Paper Mario, this is weird. <laughs> uh, how are we doing? 83% of toads rescued? We're doing fine. Doing pretty good. Is there like an invisible block or something here? Yep. Whoa, that shook the fold straight out of me. So I guess there was a hidden block there, huh? That's probably a good thing to remember. Firing it up so you can wolf it down. Welcome to Toad's Barbecue Food Eatery. All firewood used is happy to burn. This is creepy. This is a creepy setting. Toad Town, that way. Saving. <sighs> Toad Town. I guess I missed some stuff in the previous area since now we're in a different area. Right? Look at the map. No, it's still Whispering Woods, apparently. So, no, I guess there's more to do here. Okie dokie. Fresh paper alert. Let's fold him up. Wave battle. Oh, that's interesting. Look, more puny little Goombas. This'll be a piece of cake. Line them up and take them out with a quick jump attack. Wait, something's wrong. No matter which ring you turn, that one Goomba won't fall in line. I'm getting dizzy. Let's stop rotating these thing rings and think about this. I think there's some other way to move enemies around. It's slipping. No, wait. Sloughing? Striding? Line dancing? Oh, I remember, it's sliding. You can rotate each of the rings, but you can also slide the panels in a row. 
First, press L or R to switch from ro rotating to sliding. There you go, your area of control has changed from a ring to a row. Now we're ready to slide. Use L to select the row you want to slide, then press A to confirm. Okay, it's time to slide. Let's get these Goombas lined up. Use left stick to slide the panels up and down. When you're already done, press A to confirm and lock them in place. That's it, now they're all lined up. Now you just need to attack like normal. Last wave. Line them up. Looks like rotating the wings, wings won't do the trick in this last wave. Let's try sliding the panels into place again. Yay! <laughs> we're saved! What were those Goombas doing kidnapping us? And where were they taking us? Were they even Goombas? They were folded in a really off-putting way. We're taking an L on this one, guys. We got rescued by Mario. But you know what? Maybe we should put aside our differences for a while, eh? We're all paper. Let's watch each other's backs. Alright, guys. Let's fight folds with stacks. Move it out. <laughs> Looks like my brother really is turning all kinds of paper folks into an army of folded soldiers. At this rate, it feels like the whole world is going to be overrun with them. So if you can't turn back people who have been folded, is Peach stuck like that forever? Because, um, yeah. <laughs> hmm... Oops. Oh, there's a hole there. Okay, why does it do seven damage instead of one? That's just a silly number. <sighs> How are we doing? We... Oops, I keep pressing minus to get the map because that's the button for, for maps in most games. But in this one it's plus. Uh, okay, so we did miss some stuff in the Whispering Woods because now we're in Toad Town, according to the map. I need to go back and find it later. Oops. I confettied more than I needed to. Doesn't look like there's anyone here. Oh, look at that big hollow spot over there. That means my brother might have been here already, and I'm sure he was up to no good. Hold on, there is someone here. Am I guys playing tricks on me, or is that creature way, way too big to be real? It's not like any origami I've ever seen before. And what exactly is it doing to that house? It's eating it? Ew, it's eating the house. I can't imagine how yucky it must taste. These matcha papery things must be the source of the holes we've been seeing everywhere. Ugh. Wait, look at that thing's back. That's a seal of my brother's face. That might mean my brother is powering it somehow. If that's the case, that seal could be some kind of weak point. Maybe if you hit the seal, it'll get weaker somehow, and then you could take it down. Yeah, let's give it a try. Good shot, it's working. Yeah, it seems to have been shut down or something. That did something. Maybe not vulnerable to hammer strikes anywhere on its icky body. Yeah, let's go try. Oh, it takes that. It damages you out of battle. Okay, I figured we'd go into battle, but apparently not. 
Yes, that is the trick. So the weak point on that paper march my soldier was my brother's seal. You should remember that. Now, what are we doing here? I'm all turned around after that excitement. Oh, right, we're looking for the place where Peach's castle used to be. Well, the gate is right over there. We might as well check it out. Keep that hammer ready in case we run into more of those huge monsters, okay? Yeah, alright. Um, well, we can fix this door. So we may as well. Toad Town is in ruins. Paper mache monstrosities ruin rule the streets. For now, I flee. Long live the princess. I just stole someone's money. Um. Nothing in here? Eh, I thought there might be like a toad or something. It doesn't look like it though. Hmm. to relax with our paper munch or a bad guy stomping through town. Um, I guess we'll head this way and see if there's more we can, more than we can take out. There's a pipe here. Where's this go? Just goes to the other side of town? Uh, alright. What? The bridge is broken. Now how are we going to get to Peach's castle? It's not like we can just jump in an underground tube, travel through it somehow, and pop on the other side, can we? <laughs> the writing in this game is silly. Oh my goodness. You okay, Shy Guy? Hey, thanks for that. I owe you one. Ooh, but I can pay you back right now with information. If you're trying to get to Peach's castle, you can take the sewer over there. This one? Graffiti Underground, Toad Town Entrance. Technically, it's a sewer. I guess so. Uh, we'll go there in a moment. Just want to have a bit of a look around. Can I get over there? Yeah, I can. I am running out of pa paper to work with. Oh, I think I have to go through the house to get in there. Okay. Door won't open. Okay. Can I climb up on that shelf I was just looking at? Yeah, and jump out the window. Okay. Loading? Hooray! Anyone could defeat the world's largest and most disgusting Goomba, I knew it'd be you, Mario. You're welcome, I guess. Yeah, I really wish it would show you a number so you know how many, like, blasts of confetti it actually needs. And you don't end up doing more or less than necessary. And wasting time. <sighs> Is this a shortcut to the other side, I'm guessing? Somewhere on the other side. Oh, okay. I'm up here. Toad Town's kind of big, actually. 
I was expecting it to be really small, but it's, it's not that small. Fighting these guys not in turn-based combat is weird. <laughs> I'm not sure what what why they had that idea for this game. It's it's just very strange. Um, then again, I don't really like the combat system in the game either. I'm I'm not impressed with it so far. We'll see. Maybe maybe it gets more interesting and more compelling, but. Uh, so far, I am not a fan, let's just say. Tram hasn't arrived, snacks are running low, morale even lower. Send help, and snacks. I do like the writing, that is very good. Uh, I am impressed with that, at least. Not so much with the combat. The overworld is pretty fun, mostly. Fighting these guys in the overworld instead of using combat for it is weird, though. I'm guessing I get to the other side and pull off that sticker there and it'll like bridge across, but I can't do it from this end, I'm guessing, probably. Umbrella. Oh, hello. It's one of these weird hand spots. Let's go, weird hands. Yeah, I don't know. The weird hands are just weird. <laughs> Oh, stairs, neat. A bit of a shortcut for later. I don't understand how the damage with these guys works. It's not very, very clear. I guess I rescued a shy guy. Oh, it's, oh, it's a Sniffet. I'll spare you the details, but know this, I am a Sniffet, and I was inside that Goomba. Do you have any idea what it was like in there? Never mind, just take this and try to forget what happened to me. Collectible treasure, number six, coins. Think nothing of that gift, it's a mere trinket. After all, this home was built with the proceeds from a lucrative confetti sales operation. There are big coins in the confetti business. Come see me anytime and I'll sell you the finest luxury confetti you've ever had the pleasure of scattering. Uh, alright. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but go off, I guess. <laughs> I mean, confetti's just free everywhere. It's just, you just grab it off the ground. Hmm. Uh, I think I got all the big gooms. Um, I'm probably gonna stop recording soon. Uh, we'll head into the sewer. Uh, have a quick look at that. Oh, I forgot to mention that you need a special manhole hook to get down there. I think my friend is using it right now. Let's look for a red shy guy like me, but not quite as handsome. Oh, it's the one over here, right? That one. I came here to deliver dinner in a weird way, that's exactly what I did. The red shy goes off the menu thanks to you, Mario. I really owe you one. Hold on, you're red, just like that other shy guy, nearly as handsome. So do you have the thing we need to open up the sewer lid? I don't know what you're talking about, but the hook, that hook isn't here. Check out the red brick building at the port, that's where I left it. Oh, thank you. Should we go check it out, Mario? Okay, so it's a bit of a wild goose chase sort of thing going on here. Um, where's the port? <laughs> oh, there are more Goombas terrorizing the town. Okay. I'll go take out that one as well then. If I can figure out how to get down there. Um. Oh, there we go. Ah!
They're now doing eight damage. What the heck? Oh no, those guys were always doing eight. It was falling down a hole. It was seven. Why is everything so much damage? Do you feel that, Mario? It feels calmer somehow around here. It's almost like there aren't any more giant monsters trying to eat buildings. And us. Yeah, almost. It's almost like that. <laughs> Get back, you paper mache monster. Oh, it's you. Thanks for saving us earlier. Here's a little something for the effort. Yeah, we're just gonna play it safe and stay here forever-ish. Good luck, Mario. Alright. Uh, how do I get to that treasure chest that's on the side of this house? That's why I came in here. The Origami Festival is almost here. I'm so excited, I'm writing notes to myself. Okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> See? Just over there. I don't know how to reach it. Hmm. Hmm, the music's alright. Sticker Star's music really annoyed me. M like most things in Sticker Star. Torch from Peach's Castle. Yeah, I guess that's, that's cool. I don't know. Okay, so it's this building we're looking for, I think. Can I open this gate? I can, okay. How do I get to there? I can't just jump over there? Nope. Hmm. Oh, I can go around, okay. Okay, so this brick building near the port. <sighs> okay, I can see something in there. Oh, it's a spike! Oh, whoa, I thought you might one of those hideous folded guys or something. You think something's in there? Could be. Seems like those folded guys are messing around in here forever. Well, the hammer of yours sure can shake things up. Did those boxes just move? Oh, hey, it's one of those things. I still think this is very silly and not great. I can feel a bit of vibration here, but I don't know what I'm trying to grab. What am I trying to do? <laughs> oh, that's the corner. Okay. There we go. That makes more sense. Alright. What about on this side? There's nothing I can do over here. Hmm. Unless I can push the box all the way over there. No, it's not moving any further. Hmm. <laughs> that was cool. Monk. Uh, now I'm just out of the building again. They didn't achieve anything. Um, let's have another look. I 
Oh, is that thing the hook? But that's the hook. Yeah, there we go. Manhole hook. Hawk practice and graffiti underground in Toad Town. I think I'm probably wrapping up the video pretty soon. Um, this is fun. It's definitely a lot more interesting than Sticker Star, which I didn't like at all, as I've mentioned ad nauseum. Um, I don't like the battle system. I don't think it's very interesting. I think it's just kind of annoying. Um, and I believe we unlock like consumable weapons as we progress, which is, you know, something that I really hated about Sticker Star, and it's bizarre that they're preserving that in this game, given I don't think anyone really liked it. Hook that manhole, yeah. I think I shouldn't do this. Hmm. I thought there might be like a, an umbrella that would pop up if I did that, but apparently not. Okay, um, but yeah, this this game looks really nice, and outside of battle, it's pretty interesting. There's a couple of things I think don't work so well. Uh, mainly, the way hazards do so much damage, it's really weird. I don't know why they do so much damage. It's just excessive. Um, but I'm liking what I've seen of the story so far, which isn't much. Ah, it's so dark in here. Why does everyone seem to like this place so much? Can you turn on the lights, Mario? Otherwise it'll be dark all the way through all the way through this place. I'm guessing I just hit that. Oh, oh that's cute. Okay, I'm just gonna go a little bit longer so I can see more of this. That's adorable. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look, someone's here. Who's there? Oh. Yes, I'm saved! Oh, Mario, I had to run down here and hide from those horrible folded soldiers. Pardon me, I should introduce myself. I'm the cur curator of Musée Cham Cham Champignon in Toad Town. <laughs> it's a museum with a splendid collection of objects, music, treasures, origami, and other wondrous items. And we have even managed to acquire the legendary Super Marino Sea Vessel, believe it or not. I do hope you come visit soon. We're open, even with all the origamized crime we've seen as of late. <laughs> Muse. Marino. I'm trying to remember those words instead of that toad's face. It just kept getting closer. It was all I could focus on. Maybe the words were more important. Should we go back to town and check out this muse, whatever that is? Uh, maybe in a little bit. First, let's just have a look. See if I can do anything here. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, it's dark here too. Oh no, there's bats. Run! <laughs> Oh no, there's so many bats. Oh. It's hard to see where they are actually positioned because of the angle of the camera. Now, finish them off. Attack power up. Do 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 do. Oh no, rats! Um... There we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I didn't time that one quite right. Still worked though. Is that a separate area or is it the same one? Nope, Graffiti Underground is a new area. Okay. Oh, on our own ambush. Great battle. There we go. Alright, yeah, there's another wave. Hence, wave battle. Uh, let me see, I've only got two moves. Can I hammer the flying guys? Will that work? Yeah, I didn't think it would. Was I supposed to do something different? Like it said, that was a great lineup. So much money in this game. It's ridiculous. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop at the next save point. I don't know where that is. Ah, it's so dark in here. Why does everyone seem to like this place so much? Can you turn on the lights, Mario? It's all this place. Yeah, I did the light first, I think. Like that. Oh god, bats. Hey, there's a pipe over there. I wonder where it leads. I bet you can hardly contain yourself when you see a pipe that inviting, huh? Oh no, it's all flooded. We can't get across with all of that water there, we'd get soggy. Okay, yeah, so we can't go down there? Yeah, it wouldn't let me. I can see that pipe clearly goes to the castle because it has Peach's crown on it. Uh, what am I looking at here? I get three actions, or...? Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay, and then when you... Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, a magic circle. Did those mean folded soldiers hide it? I guess they must have done. Water, 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 water. Oh, and that drains the other bit. Okay, I see, I see. Oh, the water disappeared. I know, right? 
I'm so great at video games. Manhole cover. Alright, if you say so. 100% collectible treasures collected. Okay, I guess we're pretty much done here. Almost. There's a couple of these I want to fill in. Maybe we can finish this area and call out a video. I don't know. It looks like this one might be a bit smaller than the previous two. And maybe doesn't need me to gain abilities or whatever to get through it. We'll see. Why does every battle take place on a big ring anyway? Like... It, just, it doesn't make sense. <sighs> I mean, I know this is a, a silly RPG about a paper version of Mario doing silly things to avoid being folded... to folding or whatever, but... Hmm... Oh, a toad! Mario? Thank you. Oh, for saving me. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Are they okay? <laughs> um, oh dear. Um, oh, we didn't hit all the blocks, so we're actually done here. Must be another block somewhere. Like an invisible one, maybe? I, I don't know. We got everything else, though. Yep, there it is. Bingo! Okay, so Graffiti Underground is 100% complete now. Yeah, it's got a little star. Neat. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, I think that's about it for this video. I know I said that like 20 minutes ago, but I think I've, I've got a good experience of what the game is at this point, and... Hey, we managed to enter into Peach's Castle. That sewer really is pretty neat. I mean, I suppose we shouldn't celebrate just yet. We need to see if your poor brother's green hat is okay. And your brother, too. Going over here? It looks like it might be suspicious. No, nothing there. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I like the overworld mostly. Um, the battle system is okay. It's certainly more interesting than Sticker Stars, but I'm not sure I like it. Um... I don't like this confetti thing because I keep accidentally hitting ZL and wasting confetti. I don't understand why you have a limit. It seems pointless. Um, I also don't understand why it doesn't just auto-save. That would make way more sense. Uh, um, I believe you get more weapons here and that they're like breakable or whatever and that sounds super obnoxious. Not looking forward to that. Accessories, I think, are like badges, but I don't have any yet. And they haven't given me any this far into the game. They probably won't do very much in that case. Um, I wish this would tell you how much health you actually get. Um, I'm glad you can turn off the motion controls. That's always always useful. Uh, rumble control? I don't know what that does. Brightness settings. Um, yeah, changes the brightness. Some stuff that's not unlocked yet. It's kind of weird not to unlock all the options earlier in the game, but maybe it's for stuff I don't know about yet. Uh, anyway. I guess that's about all I've got to say about this. Um, I am, I guess, thoroughly underwhelmed, I think would be a reasonable description. The battle system is not very fun. Um, I don't like how much damage all the hazards on the overworld do. Falling in holes, getting hit by big goombas, that stuff like that. I think I would probably have preferred if fighting the big Goombas was a turn-based battle. I think when you fight bosses in this game, it's like the boss is in the middle and Mario is following the rings to get to the boss instead of the other way around, which sounds interesting. Um, I don't know if I'm close enough to a boss to see that. <sighs> That's pretty much all I've got to say about this. It's okay. It's definitely not as bad as Sticker Star. If, if 
you didn't, like, if you're not expecting it to be Thousand Year Door 2, then you could go, in this and go into this and maybe have a fun time, but I'm thoroughly underwhelmed. Um, which is a shame. <sighs> Still, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!